You know, as humans, we tend to judge a book by its cover. We see a skinny little guy and we think, oh, what a wimp. Or we see a big, muscly guy and we think, oh, tough guy. And that can be a mistake because it's not always as it seems. In Tegut Itung, the meaning of it is, remember, it's smooth and gentle on the outside, but inside it's really tough. Let's have a look now, Tegut Itung. Marcel, it's good to see you again. Hello, everyone. I'm Lee Gu Hyun. Marcel, before we begin, I think there's something I should tell you. Remember how you told us about the uh, the practicing punching yesterday um, to make your fists really strong? Well, I really got into that because it was such a cool idea. But I think I overdid it, and I've really got a lot of pain here in my in my knuckles. Oh, that's too bad, Andrew. But you know, pain is actually all part of the training. You need to watch out, however, not to overpractice at the initial stage and get hurt. You must understand that this part here, between the second and third knuckles, uh, is a part that you focus your training, and you practice by punching as if you are punching your opponent's sternum at the same level as yours. You punch starting from the basic stance and completing it in an upgobi stance. You must remember not to withdraw your fist too quickly after punching. What you need to do is to punch and pause while still in contact, so as to absorb and transfer the impact. Okay, so take it easy, go up in increments, and don't do it all at once like I did. Otherwise, you'll be in pain. Okay, now let's review the various kicks and blockings one at a time. This will be a general reviewing session for us. Get ready to practice along with us. And Andrew, why don't you practice along with us too? Sure. Okay, I'm in it today. Everyone, you join in too. Okay. Yeah. This is on. All right, everyone. We will show you the demonstration one more time. Follow along with us now as we go through it once more. Get up on your feet now. Okay guys, you saw me practicing hard there. I hope you're practicing too. Remember whenever we do these things to stand up and follow along, okay? Now, Master Lee, I think we've got some prepared sparring in line for the next thing. Is that the last thing for today? That's right, Andrew. As in the three-step sparring, consecutive motions are very important. But on top of this are accuracy and speed. You need to practice these. But we have one more sparring session left for you yet. Remember I told you that sparring is really good for your legs. It really makes your kicking exact. Well, we have one more opportunity to make your kicking exact, okay? Okay now, previously we learned 몸 돌려 옆차기. For today, 
We'll do something similar called 몸돌려 후려차기. 몸돌려 후려차기 refers to a kick where after spinning and kicking, you set your foot behind you. And 밤 몸돌려 후려차기 refers to one where you set your foot down forward. 하려! 경계! 준비! 아! Okay, as you just saw, he set his foot forward in a 밤 몸돌려 후려차기. Now, I set my foot backwards, making this a 몸돌려 후려차기. Okie dokie, as you saw, the roundhouse kick is a combination of using your body and power to execute its destructiveness. But it doesn't do you any good if all you do is watch it. So, up now and follow along as we go through everything on today's Point. You know, concentration can be a very powerful tool. And in self-defense, it's very important that we keep our wits about us and we know what's going on all the time. Okay, watch very carefully now and follow along if you can with Taekwondo Real Life. Just take it easy there. I'm a thief who sells pens. I mean, look at this, will you? 200 won, 10,000 won. Unbelievable. We need to be able to protect ourselves against this kind of thing. Protect ourselves like this. See that? It was so cool. She can protect me anytime. What she did was, as he came towards us, she stabbed him in the stomach with the pen just to get him back. And then, as he came in again, she blocked his attack, spun him around on the chair, threw him down, and then, ooh, threw his elbow back like this. Cool, hey? Let's watch it one more time now in slow motion. Mas Lee, thank you once again for doing such a wonderful job. Yes, thank you everyone. In our next session, next week, we'll be practicing by kicking mitts, pretending that they are targets. Okay guys, that's it for today, but don't forget tomorrow we'll be running through everything we did from Monday right through to Friday. So, join us again tomorrow for more on Taekwondo, step by step.